Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, with another video hoping to provoke some thought. Um, as a child, I remember looking up at the sky at night and wondering what all those stars were about. Typical, I mean, since probably the beginning of time, uh, someone has done that. And um, somewhere in the mid-60s, 66, 67, somewhere in there, Star Trek came along. And before that, movies of science fiction were ghouly things that ate us or killed us in some way. The Blob's a good example or whatever. Uh, so our interest has peaked. Along in the 60s again, the cars had the fins on them. We were sending people into space and then the moon, and then we stopped. Was it too expensive? Not for what we spend money for, for other things. No, not as a comparison. The question is, if alien life exists out there, where is it? That's the question for today's video. I'm expecting some pretty good responses because y'all are pretty sharp. Um, a lot of different theories, a lot of different theories. We have no signs of, on earth, of any aliens ever visiting here. Forget all the pyramid, the crazy conspiracy crap that's just not real. We have no structures, we have no buildings, we have no artifacts, we have no ray guns, we have no cars. These stories of ancient aliens sell books, but there's no reality to it. What I always get when I reach out there is that they're not here yet. So then, then there's an offshoot of a lot of theories about that. We're so uh, primitive, that why would a foreign, uh, somebody from another planet, why, an alien, why would they even bother with us? That's, that's part of what you hear. Or we're too dangerous. They don't want to be, they don't want to be around or infected by us. Um, where are there all these aliens? And, you, and there's a lot of stuff. People like to talk about Sasquatch and Yeti and all these things. Where are they? Show me one picture, except that blurry picture of that guy in a monkey suit. Show me, where are these? We like to believe in things that aren't real. We love conspiracies. Humans love conspiracies, especially Americans. Oh, the Yeti exists. I saw one the other night. He was down by the garden down there. One picture. So if a Yeti is an alien, or if he was developed here, where is he? We like to invent things that aren't real where we can chase. We like chasing our tails. We're like a dog out in the front yard with a bushy long tail. And sometimes you'll see him go round and round and he'll catch it and bite it. And then he yelps. He says, what the heck was that about? Wouldn't you love to meet an alien? Wouldn't you think and be able to communicate and find out what's going on? What do they eat? What do they wear? What are their customs? Um, what do they do in their off time? Uh, and why are they here? Why did you come here? There's a hundred billion planets out there. 100 billion planets, and probably about a billion of them are capable of sustaining life, life as we know it. Probably a half a billion more would support life as we don't know it. They would breathe um, methane or liquid uh, uh, hydrogen. We don't know. A billion planets. 100 billion planets, a billion planets that scientists think would support life. Where are they?
What, have you never wanted this? I've always wanted it. What are we, what are we doing here? Why, how did we get here? No, I don't think aliens created man. That's just oh, more movie crap. It sells more tickets. I think we crawled out of the slime as one cell amoebas and things got complicated. Pretty soon there were two cell and four cell and a million cell and we started walking and our brains got bigger and we started making axes to cut wood to have fire to cook food with where we could be healthier. I think it's a natural evolution. I don't think we were planted or seeded here like those movies. And I love those movies. They're really great. Gary Sinise is in that one where we seeded the universe. It all comes from us. Uh, it's unfounded. That's the thing about scientists. They, they look for empirical data to prove something. And they don't find it. In most cases, like psychic mediums, we don't exist. We're schizophrenic. All mediums are, if you're a psychic medium and you hear voices, you're schizophrenic. There's something, your brain is something wrong with it. This isn't true, but they refuse to believe that. However, the amazing thing about scientists is they cling to the idea that little green men exist out there, even though they've defunded the look for them, that that's defunded. There's no money for it anymore. But they look for decades at the big, you know, the big uh, dishes that all linked up and went around the cosmos listening for sounds of intelligent life. Huge amounts of money for that. And the dish in Mexico and all these telescopes in California and other places, yet not once has anything showed up. No one's landed in a baseball field and said, greetings, earthlings. It's one of the great unknowns. One of the great unknowns. Where are the aliens? Big question mark. Why aren't you here down at the local pub uh, doing a song and dance act? Why don't you come here? Why don't you do jobs that we do or invent new jobs? You have that new spackle thing that touches something and fixes everything. Why, where are the aliens? And then there's the answer that I believe because I've always been told it's true. Life forms like us are rare. Even in a hundred billion planets and a billion of them capable of sustaining life, they don't. Now, do I believe the aliens exist? Absolutely. I believe that they're out there. They're just not anywhere close to us. It has nothing to do with our intelligence level. If we can send people into space and land them on planets and begin to mine and do that, that's inevitable. I mean, that shows a lot of thinking. Are they looking down upon us, judging us for all our racial inequalities? Oh, we can't go there. No, because I, I think if there are other planets and there are aliens on them, which I do believe, they probably have similar problems. It's just not our species that would have that problem. I believe they're out there. I'm with you on this one. I believe they exist and occasionally I mean, I could tell you some things, but I'm not going to. But um, I think I wrote a book and put something in uh, Leaving the Earth to Save It. I wrote that book a few years ago. And some things that I have heard, and I put it in that book. It didn't sell, but I think maybe it was too limited or something. If I had put a Yeti in there and a three-headed Gorf, yeah, that would have sold. Maybe some pictures of mom and dad Gorf driving their flunkins to the store to get some peasy for their eyes. 
I believe they're there. I just believe they're not here yet because human life is rare. And that's my simple answer. They're there. They see us. We're not beyond their reach. They just are not here yet. What would be the point? They're probably exploring the area where they live, you know. But we wouldn't be considered inconsequential. We might be looked down upon because of some of the things we do, putting babies in trash bins. Ooh, that's got to make an alien want to come here. But I just don't think they're here yet. I believe they exist. I believe they're there. And we've got a million movies to look at and enjoy until they do get here. And it'll probably be something so odd when they do arrive that we'll go, wow, we're missing this. This is a piece of us that's it's missing. We have neighbors that we don't understand. We'll need alien translators. Housing will be different. Maybe they live underground. Maybe they float in the sky somehow. Life as we know it will not be the same. Maybe they have a cure for whatever this COVID-19 is. Maybe they have a, oh yeah, we saw that centuries ago. You hear, take a pill. Can't wait for them to get here, but I don't believe they've arrived yet. And I don't think they've ever been here because um, where are the artifacts? Where's the proof? And you, we have proof of things going back millions of years. We've never found an alien body or an alien smarf gun or artificial knees, whatever. Crash spaceship, you know, no matter how good a spaceship is, eventually they crash. There's just no evidence of it, but I believe they're there. And I can give you an experiment. Maybe I'll do that experiment one day to have you reach out and see what you find out. Um, that could be another video. I just think they're, they're not here yet, but they're there. I do believe that. And it has nothing to do with my background or because I'm not a particular Star Trek fan or um, I don't go to Comic-Con. I don't dress up as an alien for Halloween. Those things don't interest me. Most things don't interest me. But alien life, landing in a, you know, in a ball field somewhere in Milwaukee and walking out and saying, greetings, earthlings. We bring you gifts from uh, Smorgle. <laughs> and um, life will change. It's just not my lifetime. But where are all the aliens? That's, that's the question for today. I don't think that it's because we're insignificant. I think the distance is far, and I think that that life doesn't exist in great quantity in a hundred billion planets. We just we're a fluke. We shouldn't be here. Express your opinions. Tell me what you think about all this. Um, no fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.